All right, let's get today's video going. I think if I ever make it big on YouTube, I think I'm gonna buy an Evo, but not an Evo X. I think I'm gonna get an Evo 9. What's up guys? So for today's video, um, I'm gonna try something different. I never did like a, a legit like car vlog, like where I'm driving around telling you guys what's been going on in my life or you know give you guys like a vlog story or some story time type stuff you know talking to the camera while i'm driving so today i am in amanda's evo i was thinking about doing a car review on it but i was like nah because you know nothing's really done to it besides you know having a full exhaust but we don't have coilovers on it yet we don't have the cob access port and stuff like that yet um so i just wait till we like start buying bolt-ons for a car and everything and then you can get it tuned and then, you know do an evo x review like that but you know the evo is pretty nice though So nice. I don't know if I ever told you guys the story, but uh, there was one time where I did something very, very stupid and reckless with my friends, and the cop actually let me go. Like, he actually said, you know what, stop being a dumbass. Didn't even give me a warning. He gave me a warning, but he didn't even give me like a citation or a ticket or nothing. Let me tell you guys what happened. So about a year and a half ago, uh, me and my boys, when I had my tech were actually running for once, we used to do these like weekly night cruises. Like every Friday or every Saturday night, we cruise around the city, you know, just like a bunch of us just like mobbing through the city and hence why I got the name Marauder from. But Marauder is like someone who like raids basically. So Marauders, well, that's what we were. We're like Marauders, we would drive all through the city and stuff like that. And one night we decided to, you know, be like the damn Fast and the Furious, and we went on this road. I don't know if it was under construction. I mean, nobody ever really drives on it. It's like a good road. It's, like, it's where I shot Randy's review video, but I didn't really give you guys like an in depth of that road, or, like a, you know how it looks. But it's a, it's an amazing road. The, the road is so nice. There's like barely ever any cars on it and we did it like late night it was like one o'clock 12 o'clock at night right and that road is like known for late night street racing in my city and we went there and we weren't really street racing we were just cruising but we're going really damn fast like we try to mimic that one scene out of too fast and free that's what we were trying to do but um yeah it, it, we were just being stupid so it's me randy there's like eight or nine of us, and I seen the cop. Like, I seen him. Like, I don't know if my black people instincts kicked in or whatever happened. I seen, like, I just, like, had my damn spidey senses of the damn cop. So I immediately started, like, immediately. I mean, I immediately, I immediately started slowing down. And what I did to try to play this off, I was going, like, at least 130, 120, 130 in my car. I mean, we were speeding. So all of us are speeding down the road, right? So I zoom past the cop. I'm pretty sure they seen the cop, too, because they, like, slow down. But I'm, I'm, I'm hauling ass. I'm gone. I'm like, oh, okay, I passed the cop. I'm out of here. I'm gone. So as I passed the cop, I was like, you know what? Screw it. I know you're going to pull me over. Let me just stop doing what I'm doing. I slow down. I freaking, I did the most dumbest shit you could possibly do. I turn on my hazard lights, right? I pull off, like, like you know, like, okay. Like, you know how you go to, like, a turning lane, like, a little turning thing, like, where you can, like, so I pull over there, turn the hazards on, turn my lights off, open the hood, and, like, I'm looking in the hood, like, okay, why is my lights turning on? I try to play it off. The cop pull up next to me. Everyone's passing, like, oh, shit. Purse, they text me, calling, yo, Purse, what's going on? Yo, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. So the cop pulls up next to me. He's like, yo, what are you doing? Why do you have your lights off? And I was like, oh, I don't know. I think I blew a fuse or something. Man, he, he saw right through my shit, bro. That dude saw right through my shit. He's like, what the hell am I doing? I'm so stupid. I could have, oh my God, I'm so dumb. I am so, so the cops saw right through my bullshit. It was like, I could ticket your dumb ass for going 130 and a 40. You, why are you doing this? Like he was just like giving me the whole speech of like, you're a dumbass basically. And I was like, you damn right. I'm, I'm so stupid. I'll accept whatever ticket you give me. Like I was just being like, I was just, you know, acting like a little baby. Cause like, I mean, I could have went to jail. I was reckless driving. I had no headlights on. I was going 130 and a 40. And, but we weren't shoe racing. So that's why he didn't give me a ticket. He said, okay, I see you guys weren't shoe racing. You just cruising with your friends. So I'm not going to give you a ticket. But man, that cop, dude, if that cop ever watched my videos, I want to thank you to that cop because that cop saved my ass. Like he saved my ass. And you know, I'm extremely grateful for that because any other cop, and he was a white cop too. So, you know, not all cops are assholes. Not all cops are bad. But man, that, that was just crazy, dude. Like, I thought I was going to jail that night. I had so much, you know, freaking adrenaline pumping through my veins. Like, oh my God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I gonna... oh. But yeah, that's pretty much the story. Um, I'm going to Sam's Club real quick, do this renewal for the Sam's car, take my picture, come back out and talk to you guys more about, you know, what's going on with my car and stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty much that story. So uh, give me like, you know, like mm, two seconds and I'll be back on your screen. One, two. So for this part of the video, 
I just want to talk to you guys about a couple things. First off, I don't know what's going on with my head. They haven't called me back yet. It's been a week since yesterday. It's been a week since I dropped my head off. I called them. They gave me one update, but they haven't called me back the following day after that to let me know if my valves are bad or anything else have to be replaced. So I don't know. Another thing is, what route should I take with getting my head, you know, fixed again? Like, should I buy an OEM valve train or should I buy aftermarket? And I know what you guys are thinking. Zosh, I just answered, go aftermarket. Aftermarket is a lot of damn money. Like, it'd be close to like a thousand dollars to get my head back you know like with brand new valve train everything cams all everything like just in there it'd be like a thousand dollars and i don't have a thousand dollars even with the job i still wouldn't have a thousand dollars so i don't know which ride i should take um i actually bought some arp head studs off a subscriber actually thank you to him he gave me a good deal sold me his head studs for 50 bucks which is um I'm so thankful for that dude. Thank you for that. So I got headsets out the way. I gotta buy a head gasket. And I gotta see what you know what valve train I wanna go. He said my valve springs are bad. So I obviously gotta buy valve springs. Now I could just buy aftermarket valve springs and then buy stock valves, but that'd be stupid. That'd be very stupid. Or I could just buy, you know, stock valve springs and stock valves and then stock returns and all that stuff and then have my car back together, but like a stock head with, you know, a bottom end with, you know. YCP Type R replica pistons pulled over 0.5, so I don't know. Like, I don't know which route to take. To any tuners out there, um, let me know what I should do, man. All you Honda enthusiasts, guys, like who's like you into Hondas and stuff like that. That GTI was clean. And as I was saying, whoever's out there that specializes in Hondas and stuff like that, let me know which route I should take. Um, I would talk to my machine shop guy about it, but he's only he's into Fords and stuff like that. But you know, his advice is way more valuable than you know what i'm thinking about going so i'll talk to him and see what he says but yeah that's what's been going on with the car i don't know you know when i'm gonna get my head back i don't know which route to go with my head and yeah and if i haven't been uploading like every day it's because i don't have content to film like i have nothing to film about um i do got a video coming monday or tuesday most likely monday if we get home in time rainy's getting his hatch tuned by uh my tuner and we're going up there early in the morning tune the car and stuff like that so you know that'd be a good video for you guys to watch and see how much power he actually makes you know instead of being you know turned from word of mouth that he made 330 horsepower so we're going to see exactly how much horsepower randy makes um hoping he's around 330 if you have no problems like no boost leaks no you know stuff like that so yeah i don't know what else to um talk about really i just need content guys if you're in my area or if you live in south florida area or something like that if you want me to review your car, let me know, man. I swear I won't break your damn car. I won't, you know, miss a gear unless your damn shift linkage is booty. Every car I've been in has a garbage shift linkage besides Amanda's. Her shit's actually good. So I don't miss gears in her car at all, which is awesome. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully tomorrow with a video. Hopefully, I don't know. I'll try to see if I can prank Amanda. Oh, she's going to watch. Never mind. I'm not pranking Amanda because she's going to obviously maybe watch this video and see that I try to prank her. So whatever. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Subscribe to my channel. Bye.